Hey friends, thanks for being here. Listen, today I want to do something a little bit different and I want to show you one of my instruments from my studio. This instrument is, is one of the coolest ones that I own. It's one of the oldest instruments that I own and uh, it's unlike anything I've, I've had before. Okay, so this instrument is actually right here. It looks like a suitcase, doesn't it? It's got a little handle on here. You could take it, take it for a stroll if you wanted to. It's pretty heavy, but you could carry it. Um, and I, well, I tell you what, it looks more like something you'd take on vacation than, so, than an instrument that you'd play, right? Well, that's just right now. Let me show you what happens. So I'm going to take you, uh, pick you on up here, give you another camera angle so you can see this unfold. All right. Okay. Now, the first step to getting this instrument out is down here. I got to undo these clips. Some clips, another one over here. Now, I go like this, I lift it up. Do you see in here? Looks like, a, uh, like some piano keys, right? But that would be a silly way to play it like this. That's not how you do it. We've got another step, is to lift this up. And then I got some little flaps on the side that bring it in. And there it is. Our instrument, it's all set up, right? It looks like a piano. Except, it doesn't make any sound. Is it broken? No, no, no. There's another thing we gotta do. So come on over here. There it is, now you can see it. Yeah, so the keys, piano keys, don't make any sound. But the reason is that we have down here, underneath it, if you can see, there's two pedals. And these are for your feet. One for each foot. And as you kick them, as I kick them, I can't see it so well, but there's little flaps down underneath here, and they bring air into the instrument. And once you start kicking and bringing air in, I'll kick one of them, it starts to make the sound. Really, really neat. Let me set this up for you, and I'll play a little bit so you can hear how it sounds. So, I'm going to kick my feet down here, down below, and as I do that, I play the piano. Okay, now there are also two little flaps down here, two little pieces of wood, and I use these with my knees. So while I kick, I can push my knees out against these flaps, and it opens up some... Uh, opens up the sound on the inside so I can make the volume louder and I can also change the sound of the organ. If you listen here, this is without the, the, the flaps spread out. And now I spread them. Here how it opens up. Pretty cool, huh? I tell you what, let's play Name That Tune, okay? I'm going to play a little song here, see if you can tell what song this is. Did you recognize? You are my sunshine. <laughs> you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are red. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Yeah. So, I mentioned that this is my oldest instrument. The oldest instrument that I own. And indeed, that's true. Now, this instrument was made in the year 1940. Now, if it is 2020 right now, 1940 was 80 years ago. 
80 years ago this instrument was made. And uh, it was made during what was called World War II. And maybe you've heard about it. And if you haven't heard that, about that yet, I'm sure you will in time when you get older and learning about history. Now, World War II was a, world, uh, a war that was going on all over the world. And uh, so that meant that um, the United States had army bases all over the world. Okay? And on those army bases, uh, the soldiers still wanted to go to church. They wanted to have church. And if you've been to church, you, you may have heard the organ. And, and the organ is a very important part of church. Right? And so the soldiers, they wanted organ for their services and their church services out in, uh, out in the wor uh, army bases all over the world. So they created this instrument to fold up into a suitcase so it could be carried. It could be very portable because oftentimes these soldiers were on the move, right? So they needed to have an instrument, an organ, that was really portable. So they created this one to fold up into a suitcase and it could be transported all around. It's just such an honor to have it in my, my studio and to be able to continue playing it knowing that the story behind it, you know, that, that uh, soldiers were, were using this instrument for church services. So uh, I wonder, can you think of another instrument that is similar to this? Remember how this instrument doesn't make any sound until I put air into it. Right? And I use the air by kicking my feet on the, on the pedals. Can you think, there was an instrument I've had in class before that goes like this, right? There's a keyboard on the side. Yeah, the accordion. This is just like, similar to an accordion. You could say maybe they're, they're kind of like cousins, right? Uh, I have another instrument that I would say is kind of a cousin of this instrument. And this, it's right here. This is called a melodica, right? It looks like a, just a miniature piano, but it doesn't make any sound until I blow into the top. Pretty cool, huh? So this is the same idea. Now, uh, we also, you could think about our recorders, right? Our recorders don't make any sound until we start blowing into them, too. So these are kind of wind instruments. Right? Uh, but. Thank you so much for following along and uh, for learning about my most prized instrument, my uh, pump organ from the 1940s. Okay, have a wonderful day and keep being musical. Bye-bye.